The Pantspatial Dragon Wing A concept designed for a variable configuration, fire support aircraft. Copyright 2015 by Tom Alfaro The Dragon Wing technical concept emphasizes in-flight reconfigurable systems that create new tactical advantages. It does not attempt to reconcile every aspect of aircraft design. It does assume significant improvements in hybrid-slash-electric aircraft propulsion and control. It assumes only minor improvements in materials, reliability, and manufacturing techniques over fourth-generation aircraft. No driving consideration was given to reducing signatures. Any potential improvement to an electronic, acoustic, or infrared signature is entirely incidental to improved flight dynamics and safety. Mission Performance Diagram Fixed-wing aircraft can fly at higher altitudes than rotary aircraft, which is also desirable when performing missions at higher elevations. Fixed-wing aircraft can fly at greater airspeeds. The advantage is that they can reach greater distances faster than rotary wings. But this advantage is sometimes offset by the distance of large airfields from battle. Rotary wing aircraft can maneuver at lower airspeeds. That is useful for accessing a greater number of locations, but also increases the precision and lethality of cannon in close proximity to friendly and enemy forces. Lower top airspeed of rotary aircraft means it takes a long time to get to remote hotspots or transition from a ship to a shore engagement. Fixed wing aircraft cannot safely fly or engage targets as proficiently at top speed at low altitudes. Weapon System Diagram Right wing. Composite mission load, anti-ground plus anti-air. Left wing. Anti-ground mission load. 1. Pivoting main pylon with stations for three pods. 2. Multipurpose missile launch pod. 3. Anti-aircraft guided missile. 4. Anti-tank guided missile. 5. 100 gallon external fuel tank. 6. Rocket or small diameter missile launch pod. 7. Unguided 70 mm rocket. 8. Right hand 27 mm, 1250 RPM, 1100 meters per second cannon. 9. Left hand 27 mm, 1250 RPM, 1100 meters per second cannon. 10. 360 degree 27 mm mic rounds, 1080 total on aircraft. 11. Gimbal mounted 360 degree 27 mm cannon. 12. Multipurpose sensor and guidance station. Main features and performance in vertical flight configuration. General characteristics. Crew 2 Length 47 feet Wingspan 52 feet Height 13 feet Rotor diameter 26 feet Power plant is two 1,700 shaft horsepower turbo shafts Internal fuel capacity 1,917 pounds Comprised of 282 gallons and 2 by 100 gallons equivalent hydrocarbon fuel cells. Empty weight, 10,000 pounds. Loaded weight, 12,500 pounds. Max takeoff, VTOL, 15,500 pounds. Conventional takeoff, 16,500 pounds. Multipurpose sensors slash guidance station, left and right. 27 mm forward firing cannon, left and right. Cockpit. Four planes. Main inlets, with FOD screen. 
pivoting wing root dorsal inlet ventral thrust port multipurpose rocket launching pod coaxial main rotor exhaust port for forward thrust main landing gear wings and slipstream position rotating cannon stowed and trail position front landing gear configuration transition diagram from hover to forward flight oblique view one vertical flight configuration forward thrust is provided by partial vectoring of internal fan thrust aft lift is generated by a combination of main rotor thrust and vectoring internal fan thrust downward two rotors begins to transition aft wings begin to transition forward three rotors and wings continue to transition four rotors and wings continue to transition rotors provide lift and thrust five rotors provide thrust wings begin to provide lift six rotors feather thrust provided by directing 100 percent of fan thrust aft seven rotors begin to retract eight rotors finish retracting nine forward flight configuration thrust provided by internal fan Configuration Transition Diagram from Hover to Forward Flight Side View 1. Vertical Flight Configuration Forward Thrust is provided by Partial Vectoring of Internal Fan Thrust aft. Lift is generated by a combination of Main Rotor Thrust and Vectoring Internal Fan Thrust Downward 2. Rotors begins to transition aft. Wings begin to transition forward 3. Rotors and Wings continue to transition 4. Rotors and wings continue to transition. Rotors provide lift and thrust. 5. Rotors provide thrust. Wings begin to provide lift. 6. Rotors feather. Thrust provided by directing 100% of fan thrust aft. 7. Rotors begin to retract. 8. Rotors finish retracting. 9. Forward flight configuration. Thrust provided by internal fan. Propulsion and Lift Diagram Showing Hover Dynamics Traditionally, the area directly above and around the fuselage of a helicopter causes a lot of parasitic drag. But in this case, that air is drawn directly through the fuselage and mostly forced through the bottom of the aircraft. A small amount is used for forward thrust. Overhead air is drawn through the upward canted main intakes as well as a fuselage dorsal intake. Large volumes of high-velocity air are channeled directly below the aircraft, dramatically increasing the lift of the compact rotors. Efficient ground effect lift occurs at roughly half the wingspan, or rotor span, of an aircraft. The low rotor location of the dragon wing increases the availability and efficiency of ground effect throughout a mission. Hover efficiency comparison of different platforms. AH-64 Apache, a normal helicopter, hovers efficiently. However, the rotor diameter must be very large in order to compensate for non-existent thrust near the fuselage due to low rotor speed and parasitic drag. Dragon Wing The Dragon Wing achieves efficient, compact hovering by combining effects. It draws stagnant air from directly above the fuselage and deposits it directly into the lift envelope of the main rotor. F-35B A VTOL jet hovers very inefficiently. Tiny rotors optimized for high-speed flight must move tremendous volumes of high-velocity air to generate sufficient lift pressure. V-22 tilt rotor hover efficiency falls between a jet and a helicopter. Medium-sized rotors provide sufficient lift, but can only do so for a small portion of long-duration missions and large wings optimized for forward flight do contribute to the controllability in a hover, but also reduce available lift dough to tremendous parasitic drag caused by the wing area directly perpendicular to the wing planform. Propulsion and Lift Diagram When Transitioning from Hover to Forward Flight 
1. In a hover, lift is provided by main rotors supplemented by fan-driven air drawn from the main inlets and dorsal inlet and forced through the center of the aircraft. Forward thrust is provided by a small portion of fan-driven air forced through the rear exhaust of the aircraft. 2 through 6. To transition to forward flight, all fan-driven air is directed through the rear exhaust for forward thrust. The main rotors are pivoted to the rear of the aircraft to provide forward thrust, as the wings pivot forward to provide lift. Double-jointed wing pivots forward and with constant low drag angle compared to prevailing airflow. 7 through 9. In forward flight, thrust is provided by electrical fan-driven air flowing around two electricity-producing power turbines. The power turbines are suspended in a high-bypass noise and infrared-reducing chamber. Propulsion and Lift Diagram Main Rotor Articulating Mechanism First Pivot Hip In Orange Second Pivot and Knee In Green Showing, in order, 1. Position in Forward Flight 2. Position During Transition 3. Position during hover. On the rotor hub itself, you can see the electromagnetically driven counter-rotating rotors, the electromagnetic hub slash exhaust nozzle, where no exhaust is being forced through the nozzle during transition. Main rotors provide forward propulsion during beginning of transition, then transition to providing lift during hover. At lower right, you can see the location of components in forward flight. Main wing diagram pivoting mechanism. The variable geometry wing root consists of two bearings, canted 57 degrees from each other. The large inner bearing is located inside the main fuselage, and the smaller outer bearing is located in the rotating wing root. The bearings rotate in opposite directions to transition the wing from one flight configuration to the other. You can see the individual inner wing shoulder bearing arc and the outer wing elbow bearing arc. The inner and outer bearings rotate in opposite directions from each other to make the wing fold back, but also stay relative to the prevailing airflow and continue providing stall-free lift as long as possible throughout the transition. In the example depicted, the wings are transitioning from a slip steam position in vertical flight to outstretch to full span for forward flight. Main pylons on both wings pivot 90 degrees to ensure stores remain facing predominantly forward during the entire transition. Enabling Technology Diagram The proven and emerging technologies on this page are the starting point for the systems envisioned for the Dragon Wing concept. The individual systems are not new, but the combination of two or more, or repurposing of them to perform new functions is new. Emerging technologies include compact turbines for electricity, T-800. Folding propellers, seen on the aircraft composite Viva. Precision load-bearing robotics. Highly adaptive robotic movement, as seen on Big Dog. Large load-bearing swivel joint, Yak-141, or F-35B. Reliable variable geometry, V-22. Protected high-flow intakes, F-117. Fixed forward cannon on a helicopter, KA-50. Nose-mounted pivoting cannon, A-129. Ejection seats for low and slow flight, T-6A. Hybrid electric aircraft propulsion, Siemens. Hybrid electric aircraft propulsion, EADSFY. Publis rotors, nautical. Concept model component diagram. 1. Landing foot plus diffuser. 2. Landing foot extender. 3. Back, lower, rotor. 4. Front, upper, rotor. 5. Main rotor hub. 6. Back, lower, rotors. 7. Front, upper, rotors. 8. Engine chamber FOD and IR shield. 9. Power turbines for generating electricity. 10. Engine nacelles. 11. Left main wheel. 12. Left landing gear lower assembly. 13. Left landing gear upper assembly. 
14. Left aileron. 15. Left landing gear access door. 16. Left flapper. 17. Left fuel cell. 18. Dorsal liquid fuel tank. 19. Left wing. 20. Left landing gear wheel door. 21. Left pivoting stores pylon. 22. Multipurpose weapons pods. 23. Counter air missile. 24. Anti tank missile. 25. 70 mm rocket. 26. Extendable aerial refueling probe. 27. Left inlet fox screed. 28. Main propulsion fan housing. 29. Main propulsion fans, electric, hubless. 30. Left foreplane. 31. Main fuselage. 32. Left wing inboard bearing. 33. Left wing shoulder. 34. Dorsal intake. 35. Communications antenna. 36. Infrared missile countermeasure device. 37. Rear exhaust port. 38. Bypass flow doors. 39. Right wing shoulder. 40. Left rotor arm bearing. 41. Right rotor arm bearing. 42. Left or right main upper rotor arm. 43. Left or right main lower rotor arm. 44. Left or right rotor arm wrist bearing. 45. Left or right rotor arm wrist. 46. Right shoulder. 47. Right wing. 48. Right fuel cell. 49. Dorsal liquid fuel tank. 50. Right flapper in. 51. Right main gear upper assembly. 52. Right main gear lower assembly. 53. Right main wheel. 54. Right aileron. 55. Right landing gear access door. 56. Right main gear wheel door. 57. Right pivoting stores pylon. 58. Multipurpose weapons pods. 59. Right foreplane. 60. Right inlet fog screen. 6. Left or right main inlet. 62. Nose gear upper assembly. 63. Nose gear middle assembly. 64. Nose gear lower assembly. 65. Right 27mm cannon. 66. Left 27mm cannon. 67. Rear ejection seat. 68. Rear throttle slash collective control. 69. Rear cyclic control. 70. Front throttle slash collective control. 71. Front cyclic control. 72. Gimbal base for nose cannon. 73. Elevation mount for nose cannon. 74. Nose mounted 27 mm cannon. 75. Left sensor slash guidance pod. 76. Right sensor slash guidance pod. 77. Main canopy frame, jettisonable. 78. Rear pilot door. 79. Front pilot door. 80. Front windshield wiper assembly. 81. Extendable boarding ladder. 82. Front ejection seat. 83. Belly liquid fuel tank. Conventional takeoff and landing. Operating combat aircraft from consolidated fixed bases decreases downtime for maintenance, decreases attrition due to wear and tear, and increases availability to destroy enemy. Conventional takeoff and landing from a runway increases the combat radius of a combat aircraft and availability to combat forces. Forward Flight Configuration Aerial Refueling Aerial refueling increases tactical options for ground forces. Forward Flight Configuration in Low Altitude Crews The ability to cruise at fixed wing airspeeds decreases the amount of time required to respond to a request for fire support. 
Decreased flight time also requires less maintenance and in some cases fuel than a helicopter that takes twice as long to get there and back. Forward Flight Configuration Guided Rocket Attack In forward flight configuration, Dragon Wing can fully exploit the vertical dimension as a tactical advantage for those on the ground who can't. Forward Flight Configuration Multi-Axis Cannon Attack and Protection Dragon Wing has 327mm cannon for engaging a variety of small and lightly armored targets. Two face forward for maximum range, accuracy, and kinetic effect in forward flight. Although not as powerful as a GAU-8, being able to engage the enemy at closer ranges increases the lethality of the overall system. In forward flight, the pivoting cannon is useful for self-protection, or when a tangential flight path is more tactically advantageous. Transition from forward flight to hovering configuration. The ability to conduct hover operations at long ranges, precision access, increases our ability to disrupt enemy activities in remote locations. Hover configuration, rocket attack in vertical terrain. The ability to launch guided munitions from a concealed position is a tactical advantage in contested airspace. Hover configuration, vertical takeoff and landing at sea. Landing a small aircraft on a large flight deck is inherently more safe. Transition from vertical takeoff to forward flight configuration. Ejection seats and the ability to glide provide added protection and tactical flexibility when operating far from friendly bases. The wing bearings in the Dragon Wing concept are the same size or larger than the main engine pivot on the V-22, which is a much larger and heavier aircraft. Forward flight and hovering in support of maritime operations. At sea, the vast distances between points of interest require a platform that can cover large uninteresting distances quickly. Once at the point of interest, a hovering platform is better for identifying slow or small objects, communicating with people and assisting boarding operations. Medium Altitude Cruise An organic fire support aircraft that can travel faster than troop transportation and provide precise fire support increases tactical advantage. A single dragon wing can quickly speed to an area of interest like an airplane and then transition to a hover for accurate delivery of weapons. However, when working as a team, some aircraft can remain in forward flight configuration, providing greater protection, awareness, and flexibility than an even team of dissimilar aircraft could provide. Hovering Configuration Dragon Wing's ability to hover isn't just for taking off and landing at austere forward bases or on ships. It is a tactical capability that is an asset to any ground units requiring precise, persistent close air support. Hovering Configuration Anti-UA's operations in urban terrain the small diameter of the main rotors allow the Dragon Wing to access urban terrain that is inaccessible to traditional helicopters. The rotor diameter of the Dragon Wing is considerably smaller than traditional helicopters of similar weight. However, it is able to lift the aircraft due to the supplemental fan-driven air deposited directly below the aircraft into the lift envelope of the main rotor. Overall disc loading is similar to contemporary tilt rotors. Counter Air in Urban Terrain An aircraft that can fly vertically should also have weapon systems that can exploit the vertical environment for protection and attack. Dragon Wing Pivoting Main Pylons provide that capability in hovering configuration. Transition from Hovering Configuration to Forward Flight Dragon Wing transitions smoothly from a hover to forward flight along a basically horizontal trajectory. Internally, 
two fans provide vector thrust that is transitioned from primarily below the aircraft to directly aft. Externally, the main rotor and the wings essentially trade places and dynamic duties. The main rotor provides lift and forward thrust while in transit's aft. Meanwhile, the wing shifts forward and begins to lift the as the main rotors fold and become a control nozzle for the forward fan thrust. The counterpivot wing route allows the wing to remain aligned to the prevailing airflow and remain stall free during the entire transition. Vertical landing at sea. One key for operating safely at sea in poor weather is the ability stop before landing. While takeoff and are important for continued operations, the ability to outfly the weather and defeat land-based fixed-wing aircraft is necessary for driving tactical and strategic results. Vertical takeoff and landing in a confined area. And getting out and walking away. The ability to land and take off anywhere including remote or confined spaces is a tactical and a logistical advantage. Forward flight configuration, long distance cruise at an efficient, safer altitude. Until proven otherwise, a good close air support solution must 1. Have great loiters so it can respond to the ground situation as it develops. 2. Be survivable in a high threat environment so it can kill those threats and 3. Bring massive amounts of firepower to what is by definition a gunfight. That solution may or may not exist in a single aircraft. But if it did, it might look something like Dragonwing.